Let's get this party started. I do ba do, and then I need to press this button, and then I need to. Oh fuck! Got the chat open again. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. I'm muting Skype. Everyone say hey. 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 Beautiful. I'm cool. never doing that again. That was awful. I'm, I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> it's so easy to get you people to do things. I just say just, do I'm it. I'm just going to mute myself right now. Seems reasonable. Seems reasonable. You are an embarrassment. Um, cool. Let's get started. So, let's quickly go around the table and have everyone introduce their character and like... Actually, no. Before we do that, we'll do my little setup thing. Because I want to know roughly where you all fit in to this. So my idea of how this place, the, the place we're going to start in works, is that we're currently all based out of a town. Um, that's, I don't know, some of, some of you may have been part of founding, uh, some of you may have been here before, some of you may be new arrivals, I don't exactly know. Um, or maybe it was founded long before you guys were born. This, this is something we'll come up with together. I don't even know the name of the town yet. Um, but to my understanding, you've got the driver kind of occupies this role of this company that works with the with the, uh, the, the the leadership of the town who is uh, a mayor that you are all aware of but none of you are um, you work with his kind of people and him to like deliver messages to ne other nearby towns um, scouting and outriding for him generally scavenging shit from the surrounding wastes keeping his people out in the field supplied that kind of stuff um, the savvy head of, sorry, I'm going to remember this name, Stein, presumably, because we're in the snowocalypse, presumably your job is to keep the machines that keep everyone warm on. Uh, because otherwise, yeah, it gets awful cold when everything around you is several tens of degrees below zero. Uh, well, Savvy heads in this town. No other there people will do what we do. There will be other people who are good with tech, but I imagine that there's no one else at this point in time, at least, who is on your level. Okay. Like you are the best at this kind of stuff, um, and you have the most tools. You're the most established. Whatever, you, well, however you want to define it, but there is no other mechanic nearby on your level. For instance, like the driver could have a go at cobbling his vehicle back together. But if he actually wants it to work for more than three miles, he probably brings it to you. Um, it's my understanding. The other two of you are a little less easy to define. Um, but I'm going to go... My current thoughts are, at least with the Hocus, we have this person involved in this weird kind of Freemasons group. I represent the middle classes, man. I'm okay. like a pressure group. Yeah. So, because of um, one of the customizations that uh, Tudor has taken for his cult is that they are involved in successful commerce. So to feed that into the fiction, what I thought would be interesting would be to have them as like, yeah, the wealthy people in town are his court. And they kind of, I, I like to think they've gotten wealthy because you arrived and basically pulled them together. You found like <laughs> aspiring people in business and pulled them all together into your little court so that they would... Um, yeah, we're basically a yeah. cartel. We control the means of production, man. We're middle yeah. class and working class. We've got it all going on. Yeah. So like that, they you've kind of pulled them together, and it's like in doing so have actually made them wealthy. So they rely on you to do that kind of stuff, but at the same time, they're all savvy people who, like, are aware when it's you who's fucking up. You're also kind of useful to the town because you basically keep the workers in line because you're a crowd favorite. You're the man who can stand at the front and deliver the rousing speech. You are the you are an orator of of grand proportions. You can also hold a really good orgy, um, like anywhere. It's amazing. You would think there'd be health codes against this kind of stuff. Um, it's post-apocalyptic Britain. I don't think anyone's really concerned about health and safety as much as they are now. You never You'd think know. that shit. You'd think that. It's the one thing that survived. Someone is trying to revive the royal family, but he has a warped vision of it. Maybe he thinks that's an important facet. Um, now, the person who I'm struggling with to define the most, or to fit into my head, is Midnight. So, this is where I'm going to kind of go with you, Chip. Of my, a few ideas I was tossing around for ways I could slot you in um, would be potentially the wife, concubine, mistress, whatever, of the mayor, which would put you in an immediate position of power and influence, but you, you don't wield it directly. You have to basically manipulate the mayor into doing what you want. It also... 
would quite easily put you in conflict with certain characters because I assume, well, it seems to me that when you have one man in power and then you have another man who controls the means of production in his town, there's going to be some headbutting. So then you get to pick sides, shape that conflict in some way if that's what you want to do. There's also, you could be run the pleasure districts, as it were. And basically, between you and Tudor, you guys kind of keep everyone happy. Um, and it could be that you run it. I don't know, oh no, you keep the, the, the crowds from rioting. <laughs> you keep the peace, essentially. That's, or that's, this thing of, Pockets World very clearly, there is no status quo. We start with this setup, but that you might be secretly conniving just to basically have, like, an eye and an ear in everyone's house because you're going to take over and be crazy, like, surveillance government, or whatever your agenda is. You can freely shape that. I'm just saying what your job is at the beginning. Um, and the final one is that you're just some kind of freelancer who just, yeah, has a lot of sex and gets a lot of money. Rogue. Sorry? Just rogue. Just pure rogue. Like, nomad. Don't give a shit. Oh, yeah. I mean, you presumably live in this town because it, it'll, it'll be handy to have everyone know each other and be associates or friends to some... Wait, did Chip just say she's a nomad? <laughs> oh, she said roam. She roams around. So maybe, yeah, maybe, like, <laughs> okay. this is your base... Maybe you have a house here. Like, this is your actual town. And you're a bit of a celebrity wherever you go because you're like the prettiest woman in existence and no one dresses fancier than you. With your badass leather jacket. Yes. My fucking badass way to jacket. And my pirates the Caribbean handguns. Yeah. <laughs> Just the bit where like you get the vroom and then it's a fucking flintlock pistol. I love how that is like seen as the just the classiest thing you can have is a massive leather waistcoat and antique pistols. It's <laughs> incredible. Yeah. Fashion has Taken, taken a, an interesting turn. Yeah. So, what, what are you thinking? Um, I don't know. I kind of, I kind of like your first idea of being like with someone who's in power and being mm. able to. Like, well, literally, just be with the mayor, the guy yeah, who so runs I mean, this like, place. Yeah. With the mayor and yeah. The, this exactly the. I want. I kind of like that idea. Okay, we can go with that. Um. Yeah. Yes. Cool. So, we have, how like how. Uh, serious is your relationship? Are you, like, married to him? Or are you, like... You, you, you know how, like, Hugh Hefner has the Playboy bunnies? Oh my god. <laughs> you're, you're, play, you're the bunny of the month, basically. Yeah, is that but what I we're have more power than him. So it's like role reversal in the sense that I'm there... For oh wait, no, sorry. Are you Hugh Hefner and all of the powerful men in this city are your bunnies? <laughs> is that what we're going with? Because I could get behind that. That There's sounds great. Hugh and the, and the Playboy bunnies and the Playboy bunnies are there for his pleasure, except it's a role reversal in the sense that the Playboy yeah. bunnies have more power than Hugh Hefner. Cool. I like it. So yeah, you're you're the secret I'm force pure, that guides this city. You're like sugar daddy kind of thing. Mm. Like, cool. Yeah, I, I like I like it. Of you're, you're in this position to to subtly guide things to either betterment or just your self-benefit, whichever, whatever kind of person Midnight is, I'm sure we'll find out. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> um, <laughs> does anyone have a particularly strong idea? Oh, like, does anyone have any caveats or extra bits they would like to add to my initial assessment? No, oh, I've messaged you, like... Yeah, things, like, we've discussed yours at length. I think I've yeah. accurately summed it up. What about uh, Tudor and Stein? Is there anything else you guys would like to say about the city, how you came to be here, maybe? Or how it runs and how you're related to that? I think we definitely have had run-ins. I think we've got a mutual sort of... Oh, I think every, set, everyone... Set of yeah. So my, my, my machines yeah. that he uses obviously need my handiwork. Oh, um, we'll, we'll get to exactly how you guys know each other in a moment, trust me. There is a... Yeah. The HX round does this. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. I need to think of a name for this town as well. That's your job. I know. Ask the chat. Ask the chat. The chat. All right. Ask the chat. <laughs> chat. While oh, we do the God, HX God. round, Not I expect a good Ask name. The chat. We need a good name for, like, giant ice city heated by underground machines and such. Get on it. Okay. I think the next step is to do HX. And we will discover from there the relationships that bind you people. So, 
Uh, if you go to like the third page of your character document, I think is usually where HX starts, but you're looking for the giant letters H and X. You can read. On your character on like the character sheet creation bit we were on, look for the HX section. It's not gonna be called Cockworld or Cocktown. Is it under characters crap or the No, this is in the like savvy head playbook. Is it like under is it the one directly under other? Possibly. Cecil Street. <laughs> Cecil Street. <laughs> so yeah, it, I think it would go like gear for you, and then it goes where like the fancy weapons, and then I'm pretty sure yeah, HX the section yeah, after that. Okay. So I'm kind of looking. Ding. Okay. So we will start with the driver because alphabetical order is a thing. Um. So we've introduced our characters. We all know what everyone looks like and stuff. So, if you all go into... So, I don't have to do this for everybody. If you all open your character sheets, uh, and in the HX box, write the other three characters' names. Um, Where's HX? Do, 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 so, if I open Lux McRae, uh, under Other, on the character sheet on Roll20, there is HX, Gear and Barter, Hold. Um, yeah. Fill in your gear, by the way. Johnny. Uh, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> It's over on the right-hand side. What are the other characters' names? Uh, the other three oh. characters' names are uh, Lux McRae, or Lux is probably just easier. Yep. Stein. S T E I N. And Tudor. And then Chip's character is called Midnight. I've I've got the thing up. It says bio and info character sheet in a actual. Oh, a go to the character sheet tab. Yep. And then. Under the other section, you should see HX. Oh, I see it. Yeah, I had to scroll. So, what are we doing? Writing everyone okay. else's name. So, write the other three characters' names in there. Like, give them their own line. Put a little colon or something afterwards because you're going to put some numbers in. We're going to have to do a bit of basic arithmetic on stream right now. Oh, I'm God. quite scared. Oh, no. So shit arithmetic. It, literally, this is like adding and subtracting one from other numbers. I can't oh, do that. So, either. someone's, someone's going to fuck up. Hey, if oh. dates aren't involved, I can't do shit. <laughs> I cannot do maths without dating things. I could do it in like 1994 plus three. Oh, We're good. Okay. Ooh, I just had a good idea for the name of the town because I recently read the book Neuromancer. I might call it Wintermute. I, 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 I thought we were calling it Cecil Street according to chat. Yes. <laughs> like, you gave it to chat. Oh, wait, no, no, I'll chat give you Cecil like... Street and then. Cecil Street. Cecil Street can't be the name of the town. Actually, it, it could be. Fuck it. Can't be the name of the town. <laughs> I mean, it. Oxbridge is called Oxbridge because it has a bridge, so it could be called Cecil Street because it has a street. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's maybe it's maybe the 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 mayor of the town, Cecil. Uh, I'm thinking. I, I might be surname Cecil if it's called Cecil Street. If unless he was the founding mayor, I suppose. But okay. So midnight is sleeping with Cecil. Oh my god, it's the best. There's thing. only one thing we know about Cecil. <laughs> He's my cock. <laughs> but, um, um, okay, right. Has everyone written down everyone else's name? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so, uh, sure. for yeah, Lux, I, I literally have your character sheet open so we can see when you're lying right now. <laughs> the stream. Oh no, the stream can't see when you're lying. I, I need to look at this for the stream. We'll stay on this page. Okay. So. Um, you my character anyway, you can write it down. You can write it down, you piece of crap. I'm going to read the, how the rules work and explain them to people. So, with Lux, everyone write plus one for now. Um, everybody knows a bit about who you are and where you've been. The driver is the guy who talks about his adventure, or her adventures in the pub. She's pretty open and straightforward. Um... Uh, and on the other's turns, you write minus one next to all that. Uh, so you write minus one next to everyone's name, Lux. Because okay. uh, you aren't naturally inclined to get too close to many people. Whatever number they tell you, give it minus one. So basically, you talk a lot about yourself, but never listen to other people when they tell you things. Yep, that seems about Okay. It. We start with this of, you can choose one of or both of these. One of these people has been with you for days on the road. One of these people, uh, they get HX plus two. One of them has once got you out of some serious shit. Tell that player HX plus two. I, so, I think uh, 
the savvy head, I've always forgotten the name because I didn't write it down. Uh, Stein. Uh, Stein. Stein, of course. Stein. Just think of drinking. <laughs> Stein uh, has been with me. Uh, so you, you, you guys have road tripped together? Yeah. Okay. So change your uh, Lux number to plus two, Stein. So, like, remove plus one and move. Yeah. Remove that plus one. Do plus two. We should have done this bit first. I'm sorry. Um, okay. And has anyone ever got you out of some serious shit? Uh, I th I think uh, Tudor's possibly got me out of some serious shit. Okay. Like, just by, like, bringing the mob, like, mm. to my aid. Or, like, I imagine... I so I pissed some people off, and he, he bailed me out by, so, like, like, yeah, oh, the, the true enemy is out there. <laughs> it's the winter itself. Don't you see? Are you so blind? The power of misdirection. going <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> on? Um, yeah, so uh, it makes sense to me, the, the road tripping thing, because I imagine Stein yeah. has often gone out with... Um, Lux to like go scavenging because you'll often be finding equipment for Stein goes I need this thing to make this thing work it's like do you guys want clean water because you know we've got like a week of that left unless I get insert list and then then you turn that list over to Lux and Lux goes I have no idea what these things even are let alone yeah. what they look like so you guys road trip together all the yeah. time right have you got a road trip a road trip uh, road trip sa uh, playlist of course we do <laughs> yes. you know what it is what is it and We're I would walk nowhere. 500 miles. Yes! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> over and over. And yeah, this is the only, like, only song you've actually found on like on your travels. Cassette. You've just got a cassette of the Pretenders. Of that song. Just gets yeah. turned. We, and we, turned. We, we actually decided that one, there was a fear of losing this cassette or it being stolen, and the fact that we didn't think we actually needed any other kind of music, so we actually have put a metal plate and bolted it over the cassette player, <laughs> so nothing else can be played. <laughs> <laughs> it. And it cannot be turned off either. No one, no one could ever no, you, steal you your stereo. Engine, I would walk 500 miles comes on. <laughs> oh my god, glorious. So okay. It, 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 you know, if we're doing a getaway bit, or you know, if there's some kind of out of the <laughs> out of the blue car chase, it is going to be just the sound. And I would walk f <laughs> as a yeah. skidoo erupts from the snow. <laughs> yes, glorious. Okay, uh, so yeah, like uh, Tudor, do you have any insight into what kind of shit you bailed? Uh, Lux out of? Um, people were trying to, trying to steal his tank. Her tank. Her tank. Okay. People, people were trying to jack your tank, and you were like, no! No, and they, yeah, because you were shit at violence, they just knocked you over. Yeah. And you, like, went up. So did you, like, convince them to leave the tank alone, or did you sick, like, 20 people on them to just beat them I, to death? I convinced them that the tank was needed for a greater purpose, and accurately, factually pointed out that we need the tank to live because it always gets the stuff. Cool. Okay. You, you spoke went, sense to the mob and they were like, yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um. <laughs> God damn it. Um, I read chat for a moment. I shouldn't do these kinds of things. Uh, let us go by my calculations. We should now go clockwise to midnight. So, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should go to the, I should really go to the Hocus next. We're going to go to the Hocus next because alphabetical order on my iPad. Sorry, dear. You're right at the bottom. Your last. Long pause. Wow. Long last. pause. Uh, okay, so, HX for the Hocus. Uh, so, uh, this we open up to the rest of the players. Are any yeah. of you within the Tudor court? Are you members of Cecil Street's Freemasons? Like, do, do, you, do you believe in the Rule Britannia style... Like thing that um that that Tudor is prophesizing or I suppose not prophesizing open. is yeah. not openly. No, no, no. This is the this isn't openly <laughs> thing. This is if if oh. any of you guys are his followers, you get HX plus two with him. If you are not, you get HX zero with him. So Stein is not Stein is too much in the world of engines to give a crap about fancy court nobility and such. Uh, what about Lux? You, Tudor bailed you out of trouble. Have you become a disciple of the rightful king? Of the frozen uh, throne? Of the frozen much. throne. <laughs> <laughs> Are we transitioning now? Oh dear, sorry, uh, I couldn't resist. I don't, I don't know if, if, if Lux believes in, in, in much other, other than, than the drive. Okay. The That's drive. fine, but I mean, at the same time, Tudor saved the drive. Yeah. 
I, I mean, I mean, I don't know. I know. Talk, talk, tell me on your legend. <laughs> oh, oh, right. Basically, I've been so, granted visions of a glorious time. Actually, no. Actually, wait. Never mind. You're the middle class. You, you, you go for the middle class, right? Yeah. My family is totally middle process. class. Yeah. Like, down uh, he, below. Runs yeah. a business. You're you're yeah. the representative for the uh, what the, the McRae Courier Company yeah. sitting on the court. Okay. Yeah, with, yeah, with, no, I'm, to I'm totally in your legend. Okay, so Stein has uh, zero uh, with Tudor. Uh, Lux has plus two with Tudor. This also means that, that if you're in circle... adds to my minus one. To yes, sure. this is on top of any previous number you have with them. Okay, so I have a plus one with Tudor. Okay, uh, and finally, Midnight, are you a member of the Tudor court? Do you believe in the grand return of the monarchy? Or are you just there because, I mean, yeah, it's like, this, I think this is more specifically whether or not you're a follower of him, as opposed to whether you're sitting on the council for dubious reasons. If you've manipulated your way there, which, I mean, that's up to Tudor whether he's let you in in that case. Yeah, yeah, alright. <laughs> are, you, are you a follower? Yes, I am a follower. Okay, so you believe... Okay, this, was, this is really interesting. You're, like, sleeping with the mayor, but you believe that a, a random dude who wanders around, like, fancy old English get-up, screeching things at the mob, is hey, the rightful you... king of England. You know my plan? No, you don't. I still... I love it. No, I just love... I love no. this dichotomy. And it, as you're in the court... That totally means you're both, like, duchesses. Oh, my God. <laughs> Duchess. Okay, cool. So you get plus two next to uh, whatever numbers you already have with uh, Tudor. With Tudor? Yeah. I have uh, anything next to Tudor. Should I have anything next to Tudor? You should. Now yeah. have plus two. You now have plus two. Now uh, plus two. Okay. For I realise I haven't actually explained why we're doing this. HX is a representation of how well a character knows another character. Uh, it is not mutual, so like, um... That one person can have plus two with a person, while another person has minus three, and it means that you know them very well. This this is also used when you roll to help or interfere with a person. How well you know a person represents how well you're actually able to lend them a hand or fuck with their plans. Um, there's also a thing uh, that if a HX ever reaches plus four, it ticks over uh, back to plus one, and you gain one XP. This is not necessarily you just suddenly know them less well. This is your relationship. Like, moving up a notch from, like, associate to friend to trusted so wait, confidant. So do that on four or on five? On four. If, you're, if you HX gets two plus four, we reset it to plus one, you gain one XP. Okay, so we have two people who believe the rightful king of England is among us. Um, in the Tudor court. And fucking tastic. Um, okay, so, Tudor. Which character's soul have you seen? Um, you get to write wh whatever number they tell you. You just write plus three next to their name. And no matter what they tell you... I do that you, on other people's terms. No, you, we'll just do it now because it's easier this way. Trust me. It just requires less <laughs> benignityness. But, but yeah. But... but <laughs> just... just. Uh, I mean, p just pick a character whose soul you've seen and then we just ignore the number they give you. Um, okay, I'm going to see Midnight Soul because she's going to be trouble. Okay, so you have seen the truth of Midnight Soul. You get HX plus three with Midnight. Um, whatever number the others have told you, uh, add one to it. Yep, I've done that. Cool. Um, you are a good and quick judge of others. Okay, so next in alphabetical order is the Savvy Head. Alright. Stein, which of the characters is the most strange to you? The weirdo grease monkey. <laughs> Like, um, is it the down-to-earth, practical driver? I guess not your kind of buddies, but is it's between, basically, the crazy cult leader who wanders the streets in his formal clothes, or is it the super gorgeous woman who's so far out of your, like, sphere? No, I think, I think it's definitely going to be Tudor. Okay. Um, you gain plus one with Tudor. Uh, sorry, uh, no, sorry, other way around. Uh, Tudor, you gain plus one with Stein. So that makes it plus two. Uh, yes. Um, well, I don't put anything next to Tudor. Uh, not yet. Okay. Uh, every so the other two of you mark minus one to whatever number you have next to uh, Stein. Basically, you're kind of strange yourself, <laughs> and you're a little bit weird and difficult to work out. Um, 
Right. Which character is the biggest potential problem, Stein? Who's, who's going to fuck shit up for you? Who's going to ruin your beautiful town that runs like clockwork? And everything is in its, you're the right place. I reckon it's actually going to be Midnight. Okay. Uh, put plus one next to Midnight's name. And you get to add that to whatever name sh- number she tells you. Um, whatever number that the rest of them have told you, put minus one onto it. Um, basically, you've got other stuff to do than like figure these people out. Who cares? So, so put- what? Minus, minus one against Tudor and Lux? Yes. Do I do anything? Uh, not yet. We'll get to yours in a moment. Calm it, Chip. Well, it's her turn, so... I don't, like, miss anything because I'm just, like, a serious rookie here, so... It's okay, it's okay. You're doing fine. Alright, yours are the fun ones where we get to have some great times. So, on you may choose one, two, or all of these options. Okay. One of these people is your friend. That person gets HX plus two. One of them is your lover. One, they get HX plus one. One of them is in love with you. So, you can take one of, two of, or all three of those. Interesting. And everyone else gets HX, just zero. Okay. So, who's your side bang? Who, <laughs> who, like, loves you? And who are you actually, like, drinking buddies with? Drinking buddies with? Well, since I'm on the Tudor Corp thing, mm-hmm. I'm going to have to say that Tudor's my friend. Okay. I like this. You're like the concubine of one town runner, and then like the close friend of another one. (laughs) So you're like playing every angle. This is good. I like this. Uh, Okay, so you... um, So Tudor, whatever number you have next to midnight... Oh, wait. Uh, No, you ignore that number. So you just get plus two, but we now note that you two are friends, have a personal connection of some description. No, I have plus three. Yeah, you keep your plus three. Yeah. But... Yeah, you t- you guys are friends in the fiction now. Do you want to do the other two? Are you having sex with Lux or Ch- um, Stein? Uh, is one of them just... Lux is a girl. It's the apocalypse, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I, know, I, know, I know, People... I know. But just, like, just People stop really caring. There were bigger this. things to it's deal with, like straight, freezing yeah. to death. Now, sexuality is just kind of a non-issue. <laughs> Like, why, why, why is lesbianism? <laughs> why is that? Yeah. I mean, no, no, there no, could be saying, places like, where it is. You to be aware. Like, I, I, like, I was just like bringing no, it up no, as I a know, thing. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. It'd be quite interesting to just like bring in some. some... Everybody loves lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on then. Mm-hmm. So, All right. Your... So. Lux so... is my lover. Lux is, is your lover. Uh, so you have plus one <laughs> with midnight, uh, Lux. <laughs> Okay. So your whatever number your you have. Character's relations are brilliant. <laughs> the Skinner is the best. Oh, we also get to do sex moves because you guys have had sex, and I oh, love the great. the Skinner's sex moves are the fucking best. Great. Like actually, let's say just great. let's put each other there. Is it okay <laughs> with you, Lux? Yeah. To fine. be Midnight's lover. Yep. Have I changed any of my things? Here? Not yet. You just get to make three choices right at the end that are pretty quick. So finally, then. Is Stein in love with you, Midnight? Yeah, Stein's in love with me. Okay, is that alright with you, Stein? That's you, fine. Stein you, doesn't get a choice. I, I love this like this thing of like you're kind of at the bottom of this greasy like, like, literally in the garage. You're like in the hole underneath the car, and then there's just this shining woman like <laughs> completely free of engine grease and like in your mind at least grime of this world that you inhabit, and like you're just. This one side of the attraction that, like, adore her. Uh, you get minus one with Midnight, Stein. What the fuck is happening in chat right now? <laughs> I just looked over to see someone say reverse cowgirl. I'm not going to interrogate that too much. I like that if this was Game of Thrones, Chip would be dead within the first episode. I know, right? <laughs> She's way too popular. <laughs> She's, she, yeah. She's playing too many angles. Uh, okay. Finally, um, Midnight... So do I need to roll well my driver special? What, we've got one more thing to do. Midnight, you get to pick for each person. Give them... Put plus, plus one onto the number you've got with them, or minus one onto the number you've got with them. Remember, this represents how well you know them. So maybe 
You've got plus one with Tudor because you're close buddies, but you've got minus one with Stein because you live in two different worlds. Um, I don't know how... It's up to you for each one. You could literally just go plus one, plus one, plus one because you're a great judge of character and you just know these people having met them a few times. Or you go minus one, minus one, minus one because you don't give a fuck. <laughs> so, eh, I'm using you people knowing you is irrelevant. Up to you. Just let us know when you've made a decision. Stop reading chat, Finn. I can tell you're doing it. Con concentrate on the game. Ooh. Yeah, man. It's all in the game. I'm it's terrible. not like they're saying you're high on drugs. Let, let me let me handle the chat, all right? I'm keeping them in chat. <laughs> okay, you are my mod. That is kind of your job. Yeah, and, and no one has said anything completely ridiculous yet that I've had to time them I, out accidentally. I know, it's quite incredible so far, really. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. Or should I, in this time, well, my, well the drive? Uh, yes, let's, I suppose, while, while Chip has a little think about that, we shall uh, begin the proceedings of finding out what happens when you two have sex. <laughs> yeah. Your one can only go well, Chip. The driver one can, can at best, be ambivalent. So, read, read the driver sex oh, move I just for went, us. I went d20, I mean 2d6. It's like plus warning everyone, is that... Good for me. Uh, so HX essentially allows you to uh, aid or interfere with what people yes! do. Yes. So if you want to be able to help people better and know them better and be closer to getting XP with them, give it plus one. But then again, in fiction, you may just not know them that well. Uh, Three plus six, that's nine. Plus, that's, that's pretty. That's pretty good. Okay, plus one, everyone. So, right, Simba. Everything plus is fine. It's no big deal. No big deal. I had sex with the most beautiful person around here, and it's no big deal. Cool. Cool. That's no good for you. Uh, yeah, no. Just read what happens guys. when you fail. Guys, guys, but you know I went for girl because she's hot and like it's no big deal. Just no read for us what happens when you fail that role, Johnny. On a miss, I gotta go. Take minus one on going until I prove that it's not like they own me or anything. <laughs> so, basically, Lux can succumb to serious peer pressure in sex, <laughs> and it's yeah. hilarious. Um, yeah. So you're putting plus one on everyone. So that is. That means that you know them all a little bit better. So add one to each oh, sorry, person. Stein, um, I don't know you at all. You're on zero. Sorry, what now? Uh, oh, right. on zero. Yes. No uh, one on my list is... Oh, no. Lux is at plus one. You're at minus... Oh, yeah. Minus I just leveled one. up. You can see... Oh, I got an experience thing. Uh, no, you guys don't change your numbers with, with Midnight. Only, oh, this right. is Midnight changing her numbers. Yeah. So... He gets a 10, he's completely successful overall. Um, yeah, 10 is really strong success, 7 to 9 is good, but hitch, 6 and lower is failure. Oh, that's weird, it didn't do the plus one. Alright, and now we get to do the really fun sex move. Yeah, wait, Fimbal, this is quite weird. What? It didn't do the plus one on the stream one. Did you just not put it in? Yeah, but it did on the thing. Yeah, it did on mine, and it did on, or apparently on your guys's. That's just not odd. Well, well, we'll keep a track of that. We'll just have to do a little bit of extra arithmetic. Yeah. Right, so we've got the plus ones from Midnight. Now we get to the fun bit for Midnight. Come on. Let's not get distracted by boring technical details. All right, I'm, yeah, I'm going. So. Is this the Skinner special? This is the Skinner special, <laughs> which sounds so, so weird. Okay, so you get to choose for the You take a plus one forward, and so do they, which is just on a roll you get to roll with an extra plus one, and so do they. You can fuck with them by you get to take plus one forward, but they take minus one, and you've just, you've basically broken her. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can force Lux to give you a gift worth one barter, whatever it may be. And finally, you can hypnotize Lux. As if you'd rolled a 10 plus. So you don't even have to roll. You've just hypnotized them successfully. Don't I have that thing? You do have that move, but you, and when you have sex with a person, you don't need to have the move. You just can hypnotize people. Because <laughs> you're that good in bed as the Skinner. So I can literally just, like, have sex with Lux and then hypnotize her whenever the fuck... Well, I mean... No, no, now you have the hypno hold. It's basically... You treat it as if you now have three hypno hold over them. So then they have to... They can then work off the hold by... So Lux could work off that hold by giving you something you want, acting as your eyes and ears, fighting to protect you, doing something you tell them to, or by distracting... Lux could distract themselves with a thought of you to act under fire, 
where you distract them from their ta their task, or yes. inspiring themselves. That's my hypnotic move. Yeah, yeah, that's your hypnotic move. You literally just get that for well, free. What's the difference between that and having hypnotized in my skin is special? Because you didn't have to roll the dice, and you didn't risk failing. Okay. This is just, you had sex with a person, and now this, it just happens. Whereas if you roll the dice, there's always that chance you roll the double one, and I get to go, ha 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 ha, fuck you. <laughs> or, well, like, in this case, that Lux hypnotizes you. If, you. if you attempt to hypnotize a character, and you fail, they get to hypnotize you. Whereas in this case, you just get the three hold. It's just a thing. Yeah. Okay. Is that what you want to go for? Or do you want to just drain Lux of money? I don't know, I'd be a pretty efficient prostitute if I did the gift one. This is actually, noticeably, in the fiction stuff, that is on top of the asking price. On top of the asking price? Yeah, so oh, if, if, if you sleep with someone... Yeah, if you sleep with, for someone, with someone for money, and then choose this part of your sex move, they have to like basically double the amount of money they give you. So they give me a tip. That's one way to look at it. <laughs> what, 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 what? Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, Lux wasn't able to give you the tip. Okay, so go for the hypno move. <laughs> go for the hypno move. Come on, yeah, hypno is fun. Okay, oh, so hypno. if you um, uh, midnight in the hold box, if you note down that you have three hypno hold over Am I looking? Uh, on your character sheet uh, on the main page boys, of it. Oh yeah. Boys, boys hypnotize me. Uh, so you put in the hold box, yeah. put three hypno hold over uh, Lux. And yeah, we will have to, as a group, decide when Lux has done something worthy of working some of that hypno hold off. Awesome. Um, cool. This is going to be fun. Okay, so with that, we're about ready to actually start. Is everyone prepared? Only about an hour and a half later. Yeah, it's fine. Um, yep. This is the way that first sessions. First sessions take a long time because character creation is important. But then, and also the first session is a bit shorter because I have to make all this crap up off the top of my head. And yeah, and then I will spend a session making up all the things that are going to kill you, and then we jump back into it. Okay. So. I think the way I would like to start this is we'll split the team up a little bit of, on the one hand, uh, Lux and Stein, someone, uh, one of the guys who, like, occasionally does a bit of, like, work for you as, like, a heavy lifter, um, who I will call, I'm gonna flip pages briefly, get my sheet up, um, we'll call him Dremer, a guy called Dremer. Who does some like heavy lifting stuff for you? He's also kind of like a labourer guy for the town. He's run into your garage and he's gone, Yo Stein, we found some really weird shit out, like this crazy big door thing out in the um out in the snow. Like you should totally come have a look at it. We couldn't get in. Looks like your kind of your kind of shit. Um And yeah. We're gonna go with you have gone up to your, your road trip buddy. You guys are hiking your way out there on your skidoo right now to go have a look at this crazy door. At the same time, the scene that's going on with the other two of you is that uh, Tudor, uh, the mayor of Cecil Road, Cecil, has a uh, called a, has a started a dinner party. He's having a dinner party with his best and brightest. Uh, so he's there with obviously Midnight on his arm, um, and you have been invited. You have the option to bring a plus one from your court. I have a question. Have you brought a date? But how or... many of my court will be there to start with? As I mean, might be the best and brightest. It's it's might not be that he's actually invited the best and brightest. That was the detail on the invite. But you spoke to the rest of your court about this, and none of them had received one. So yeah, hmm. have you brought a date along for the evening or a large man to hopefully keep you safe? Because yeah, I think at this point there's some. Building tension between you and Cecil. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, you are too powerful in a town he supposedly controls. And this is... You haven't spoken to each other for a few weeks, and then this is the first thing you hear, is that like you get a delivery from, like, one of his staff being like, you have been cordially invited to dinner. Okay. To dine with uh, Cecil and Madame Midnight. It's definitely not a wedding that's coloured... <laughs> Midnight. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to bring a big guy, the local blacksmith who's called Greg. 
So you basically you've got like another laborer who's like good at I don't know. So if he's in your court, like he's the head of the blacksmiths, man. <laughs> head of the smiths. Head of the welding guild. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, okay. With a hammer and a pinch. Okay. So we have a. Uh... God, my desk keeps shaking when I make notes. This is terrifying. And we okay. So we'll start with the scene out in the snow. So um. Yeah, you've got, like, I, I suppose in your little skidoo cramp, because you've got the two of you there, because you need to get yeah. there fast, because it's afternoonish time, and, like, the sun goes down soon, and you don't want to be outside when the sun goes down, because if you aren't yeah. going fast in your car, it will freeze your car solid. Yeah, no, um, we, 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 we installed really good heaters. Oh, yeah, the, 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 <laughs> the inside would be okay, until the outside froze in motion. <laughs> um, so... You've got yeah. you, you've got Stein, you've got uh, Dremor in the middle, like, guiding the way. Um, do, you have, do you guys have any questions for him about this place? Or are you just kind of riding along, t uh, headbanging, going, I would walk 500 <laughs> miles. <laughs> so, no! is, that, is that just it? Until you yeah, get there. Yeah, pretty much. It's, it's, I, I, I'm loving the fact that I've got to open it full up. I'm like, the fuel is on expenses. So I'm just like gunning it. Cool. Yeah. It's just, you're like, working on you're working like, on the town credit. Get, getting, <laughs> getting air on every jump and just like so like it's sort of it means air always turning to drugs. Like, it's a good it's a nice drive this, isn't it? As he's like white face is yeah. like hurtling through the air. Yeah, like Stein, like you've been in this car a few times, so you like as much of a daredevil thrill junkie in the in the in shotgun. As you know, Stein. As uh, sorry, as Lux is in the driver's seat, or are you like, holy crap? Or is it like a typical guy being in the car with a girl and just being like, ah! but the other way round? <laughs> I think it's more Who's of a case Lux of I... driving. Yeah, L Lux is the driver, so it's it's, it's the right. girl is the one speeding horrifically out of control. She is insane. Any guy who's in a car with a girl and the girl's driving, guys generally don't consider girls like as good drivers, do they? So oh, okay, like, fair. I haven't heard that one. Trust Chip to be sexist. <laughs> Yeah, Our diversity is bringing out all the stereotypes. <laughs> God damn it! Um, so yes, fumble around cluelessly, not understanding what she means. <laughs> God, so, we're so twenty-first century guys. Yes. <laughs> God damn it, team. So yeah, Stein, how how are I you know. with the daredevil style of Lux? Well, well uh, Lux and I have, uh, have travelled around a fair amount, and I'm totally used to the way she drives. Uh, so I'm just I'm just relaxing, enjoying it, and just. Seeming not to notice how fast we're yeah. going at all. Okay. Um, yeah, so, so, so poss possibly, yeah, like, as we're like driving along and like possibly dr Drux, was it you said? Uh, Dremor. Dremor. Dremor's like possibly maybe hasn't driven us as much as looking scared. It's like, yeah, see, Stein knows what's up. Stein knows what's up. Like high fiving as we're like mid. <laughs> He's just high fiving over the top. <laughs> like, takes no hands. You're just like, yeah, one, like you've, you've actually like, you, you've got one hand on the gear stick shifting gear and you've yeah. actually taken your hands entirely off the wheel to high five and stuff yeah. like that. It's like, yeah, fuck it, it's fine. There's no one else on the road. Like narrowly swerve around a passing deer. Uh, well, sorry, reindeer. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you arrive at this like, bank and you've got like there's a there's one guy like emerges from the side of a nearby building who's obviously been there for like a couple hours now and he's like w flags you down okay. and your dremor like, like points turn in, like, <laughs> shower him with snow uh, no i'm very careful i spray like about a meter next to him full of snow cool yeah and, and not him okay so yeah this uh this guy is barker he's similar to dremor they're like general handy men um, yeah, and you, you pull up and he's like, holy shit, Dremor, you could take your sweet fucking time. Yeah, it's over here. Oh, God, Lux, can I, can I stay in the car? It's so fucking cold. Holy shit. Hey, come on, keep me okay. warm. <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, Dremor and Stein, you guys have to get out and he like, kind of shivers his way in. Um, and I pointedly stay in the car. <laughs> you're, you're staying engine, in the car. Like, engine fun. running. Okay, <laughs> cool. Like, Oh, yeah, see ya. Guys, have fun. Okay, yeah, so, uh, Stein, you are with Dremor, and he leads you over, and yeah, you find this, like, get him into this building, and you find this, they've gone down, like, a floor, like, you've come in, essentially, on the first floor of the building, mm -hmm. and they've, like, dug out the, the like, fire escape stairs, and dug the way down, and they've actually found, like, there's the, the ground floor of, uh, of, uh, Barclays PLC, or something, <laughs> uh, is, like, 
open up and they've like knocked their way. It's like this weird ice cavern has formed. At the back, they've knocked their way through like this big security door thing and found on the other side this giant fuck off bolt. Um, yeah. Yeah. You have no cultural context for what Barclays PLC means, by the way. <laughs> You're just like, oh, okay, I've got a, there's a blue. Stein gives no fucks. Yeah, um... it's like, he shows this big vault with like, just a keypad and like, he's like, this is, yeah, this is a bit beyond me, dude. It's like, giant fuck off metal door. Okay, um, I have that uh, thing speak, right? Yep. Uh, can I roll on that and see if I can tell exactly what I'm looking at? Shit, I forgot something we actually need to do before we st uh, before we roll. We we'll whip through this very quickly to make sure we have this. But um, oh, who I has my fortune? Don't I? Oh, we need to do that as well. Who has the highest HX? Everyone, get to your character sheets. Look at your HX set quickly. Who has the highest HX with Lux? I've got plus one. Plus one. Tudor. Three. Uh, midnight. Hang on. Give me a sec. One more time. Uh, just check what HX you have with Lux. Uh, plus two. Okay, so Tudor, pick a stat that you want to highlight for Lux, so that whenever Lux rolls that stat, they gain XP. Sharp. Okay. Yes, that is co the correct answer. Good job. Um, I will give you cool as well. Also I get to the mark. Correct answer. Yeah, I get to mark. The person with the highest HX with them gets mark one. I get to mark a second one. I that will be. I should be on one XP because I've uh, already rolled one cool. Yes, give you that. Uh, I will be if enough people are interested. I will be deferring my ability to choose which stats get highlighted to chat in uh, in straw polls and stuff over the course of the week between shows. So you guys get to guide how the characters will play um, by picking which stats you want them to roll a lot. So you want them to be violent, or you want them to run away, you pick hard and cool, whatever it is you want them to do. Uh, okay, who has... What HX do people have with Midnight? Three. Three? It's probably going to be Tudor again, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Stein? I imagine you have negative something. Um, fucking thing. Zero. Zero. And uh, Lux? With Midnight? Yeah. Zero. Okay, Tudor. Pick a stat for, for Midnight. Hot. He's such a nice person. So yes, we highlight hot. I will highlight... I'll highlight sharp. I want to see this master seductress and manipulator wandering around a party, just like, dropping the right compliment here and observing the right situation there. It's going to be fun. <laughs> uh, Stein. What do people have with Stein? Two. Zero. Minus one. Okay, Tudor, pick a stat. <laughs> Weird. Okay, that's weird for you, and I will give you. I'm gonna give oh, you hot. Weird. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can't double highlight, cause yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I want, I want to see, I want to see, um, <laughs> yeah, Stein trying to manipulate people to do what they what he wants. Okay, and finally, Tudor. Who has the highest HX with Tudor? One. That's one. one. Midnight. One. You have one as well. Uh, okay. I will say, I don't know, none of you got to pick for anyone else, so I can't use that try and test method. Um, well, 1d3. We all agree on one. Oh, yeah, like, is there a consensus on what he needs to roll? Weird. Okay, weird. 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 He is very good at weird rolls. Like, he has plus three in that, and he has maybe one in the rest. So, weird? Weird it is. Weird. Okay. I will give you. I'm gonna give you cool. And let us do to discover the state of your cult when we start this. Roll your fortune. You have to manually roll this because it won't pop up in um. In roll in roll twenty, uh, the, the, the the roll move won't work. Why is he not closing? So what I what I just type roll. Uh, slash R CDs. space two d six plus two for your fortune. Uh. One plus three. We're in the we're like in the game, dear. We just had to jump back for this bit of bookkeeping. Sorry. Seven. That's one. That's surplus and one want. Yes. So, are, are your followers judging you or desperate for attention? Since they didn't get invited to the party, I think they're definitely going to be desperate. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, you, yeah. So like the entire night. What was the name of your uh, welding fellow? Greg. Greg. Greg the welder. Okay. Yeah. So like, cool. I will get to his behavior. Um, cool, yeah. So we're back in the vault. You roll things speak. Hit me with that roll. Uh, what am I rolling? 
Uh, you are rolling plus... If you actually go into your character sheet, there should be a little button next to the thing speak move. Again, that second tab. If you just press that, it should just roll it. Uh, uh, so... One second. Um, under character sheet. Yeah, so if in handout... Under your um, so in the in the Lux no sorry in Stein's character sheet character sheet scroll down should be realities fraying edge hit the the dice button just uh, uh, next to the description yeah sorry uh, are you on your character sheet the same place you wrote all your HX and stuff uh yeah okay under class moves third one down no sorry not third one down second one down thing speak I can uh, I can roll this for uh, you I swear class moves no I I need to learn. Um. Okay, yeah. There's a the, like <laughs> move yeah, thing speak. Yeah, underneath stat, there's a little dice button. Got there it. we go. You can do it. I believe. I heard the blip of a dice being rolled. Oh my god, it's my draws. Uh, okay, so you got a two, so you succeed partially. So I believe on that, you may ask me questions about this door. Uh, so you can ask who handled this last, who made this, what strong emotions have been most recently nearby this. What words have been said most recently by this? What has been done most recently with this or to this? What's wrong with this and how might I fix it? What was the thing said most recently near this? Uh, the thing said most recently near this. So you get like a few snatches of uh, of Dremor and Bark uh, Barker? Yeah, talking to each other about this. Like, what the fuck is this? Holy shit. Dremor, how why do I know that word? Um, but yeah, like Tremor? No. Okay. Um, yeah, then you cut back to, it feels like it's older, like you push through kind of the first like layer of psychic superficialness and you get to this bit of, of this woman's voice going, if we keep it here, we can come back for it later, it's going to be safe in there, I promise. And then you just hear like the start of a man's voice and then your psychic link cuts off. Mm. Okay. And how big is this thing? I mean, is it something that we it's, can move or are we going to have to come back for it? It's a bank vault door. Like, <laughs> connected to a bank vault. <laughs> I mean, you're a savvy head. You can probably try and find a way to open this um, with sufficient tools or just a big explosive. Okay. Um, God damn it, you're over the pile. Do, do I have the tools to attempt this on me? I mean, I assume I've come equipped. Yeah, I mean, you, you bring stuff with you, so yeah, you, can, you can give it a shot. Um, like... You were told giant metal door, come prepared. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I think you 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 set to like there's a little electronic lock where they were like I don't fucking know, and you hook it up to like you go back to the car, like lug out a battery from the back of the skidoo, bring it down, hook this thing up, rewire it, like crack off some ice, and then just like you just see like you delve back into the 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 realm where you were psychically hearing stuff about this door and then you just type four numbers and like uh, the string the code into the keypad just sit there with your hand over it for a moment and, just go, and yeah, the door just swings open um, by the way you have rolled weird so on that character sheet thing underneath your stats there is experience click one of those check boxes to mark experience uh, uh, wow I'm so crap at this um... Under, underneath all of your stats so the left hand column Underneath weird. Are there experience? Yep. yep. Click one of those checkboxes. Got it. Cool. Yeah. So the door like sw slowly like grinds open. There's like the sound of, like cracking ice and stuff. You have to. You and Jeremy have to like pounce mice off the hinges and things like that. And it slowly just eeks open. And then yeah, like inside there is a bunch of metal drawers that have been uh, like rifled through and generally like uh, most of them are empty. Um, you see a few things like frozen in the uh i see like kind of a wrap like coins essentially but like you don't use coins it's like that no, they may be useful metal i uh, see some copper ones in there i could take, melt that for wiring um that's kind of frozen there it's it looks like it's mostly been emptied except for in the back right corner of this vault there is a skeleton that is evidently generations old um and then you know like you notice the fact as you step in here well you see sorry first you see that in the middle of this, there is a bunch of technology hooked up to some kind of future tech battery, basically like growing plants in the middle of this like blasted hellhole. Um, and then you realize, like you kind of feel like a bit damaged. You realize you're sweating, 
Like, this room is heated artificially, this, and because it's small enough, it's actually warm in here. Like, compared to the glacial cavern outside. That has, like, icicles hanging from the ceiling. And yeah, there's, like, plants growing in the middle of it. Which, they're green, which is a rare enough colour in this apocalypse. Okay. Um, yeah. I, 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 I turn to Drem and say, you know what, there may, may be some profit, you know, there's some profit to be made with this sort of thing. Dr Drem was just like, what the fuck is this, boss? I, like... <laughs> Um, I, I clip him around the back of the head and say, shut up and grab it. <laughs> Get it in the car. Um, okay, yeah. I, I Like, all of this equipment, you'd struggle to fit on the back of a... Uh... Do your cars have names, Lux? Uh, the tank is called the Mobile. And uh, have you brought the tank out, or have you brought the... Uh... No, I've brought the, the, it's the compact. We need to get there first. So okay, cool. The, so, yeah, what's the, what's the name of your little compact? Uh, buggy? It is... The Skidmark. The Skidmark. It's called the Skidmark. <laughs> oh, yeah. for fuck's sake. Yeah, okay, so the Skidmark does not have the capacity to take back all of this. You can take back like, a few of the pots and like take them to town. Oh, is, and... there, is there not something at the core of this that looks like it's causing the majority oh, of Oh, yeah, this... there's, a, there's a power cell that's powering all the machinery, like that's supplying this stuff with artificial sunlight and water and plant food, whatever that might be, you've no idea. Um, without doing some biological studies, I there's a lot of fans of machinery, and the the power cell it's running off is like pretty impressive because there's yeah. no way to feed it fuel. I, I mean, like, could I if you if I like leave stuff here, leave you guys here, could I drive back, get the McCoy mobile, come back out? Yeah, but by the time you get back, it will be night time. Like night will be falling as you get back, dun, dun, unless they dun. unless they spend the night in the vault. I I'm happy to drive through the night. Um, yeah, but then the car will freeze up. I mean, there's there's ways to treat that. Like you can, yeah, you can. He, if he knows he's going to be out at night, he can make preparations. He might have to do a few extra runs. But like you guys will basically have to spend the entire night hiding in this vault, in, with a corpse. Yeah, we can guard the vault. But yeah, you could probably do it in a couple trips. Uh, like, do you go back upstairs and go to Lux and be like, yo? I found a greenhouse. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, because Lux and I go out on these trips, you know, are not yeah. completely unoptimal. Yeah. It's safe to assume that we actually have, like, walkie talkies and stuff like we talked about before. So a communication method. You know, yeah, I think there's, there's not many of those. Um, maybe, like, I'd say there's possibly one set, like a receiver built into the, um, the skid mark. Head. I yeah, think yeah. it's kind of a fast response vehicle, and so maybe it has like one or two other paired devices, but yeah, that's yeah. like it until you make. Okay, more. so we, that is something yeah. that we have. Like it can be part of the utility headset. That, that's yeah. So, so yeah. do you radio up and go? Yeah. Lux, you're gonna want to look at this. Employing that greatest of cliches. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Cool. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just like. Does that mean I have to get out of the car? It's fucking cold outside. It's, so nine, looks, it's stop, fucking cold. Stop, stop your bitching. This you'll like this. Is it warm? It is so warm, I don't want to be here. <laughs> like, Dremmer is, like, actively, like, sitting in the back, and he's kind of, like, like near the plants, right? and he's taken off some of his, like, <laughs> coats and shit. He's like, oh, fuck it. This is, this is quite nice. Practically sunbathing. Cool. Yeah, so literally, literally you, you can hear the, the sounds of, like, looks like, coming out, slamming the door, and, like, running down those stairs. Like, fuck, fuck, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold, it's fuck, it's cold, it's fuck, it's yeah. cold. <laughs> like, there's, a, oh! there's a, like, the slipping noise is, like, falls, like, down an yeah. ice chute and, like, ends up, like, bumping her ass, like, yeah. three steps away from the front door yeah. and, like, uh, whoa. Like, huh, it is warm. And then sort of walk up. And yeah. Sort of I mean, like, it's getting rapidly colder with the door open. Fair. So, I, I walk in and she be like, yeah, this, this, damn, this is this is a lot of plant life. I'm like, gonna need the bigger car. <laughs> I think that is the perfect place to cut over to the other scene for a minute. A bit. Sure. So yeah, um, I just need to pop to the loo. I'll be right back. Okay. So yes, with you two, we are at this.